welcome back to GGC Outdoors. It's been a while. We've had a, a good hunting season and there's still a lot more left in Ohio all the way to the beginning of February. I've got some gear, some setups that I use throughout the year. I'm going to go over some of them. We're going to throw some on the tree. I'm going to tell you how I feel about them and we're going to go from there. So first thing, I have a very light minimalistic setup right here. It is the, the Predator pack with the Predator platform from uh, Tether, okay? And then I put my beast stick with my aider on the bottom of it. And then I just bungee strap my, it's a Lone Wolf Custom Gear camera arm, but any camera arm, I just strap it right like that. And that is what I take with me for a quick afternoon hunt, quick morning hunt, and uh, pretty much any kind of rifle hunt that I'm doing, I'm not going to be out long. It's kind of a quick, really lightweight system to get you in the tree to film your hunt. We'll go through each one of those step by step. And then the next thing I got here is a Lone Wolf Custom Gear 0.5. Okay, so we're going to do separate reviews on each one of these, but this is just a, one of my other systems. So I'm going to come right here and show you what I got here. 0.5 with the pack. The B stick with the cleat mod. I'm gonna go ahead and take this apart quick, real quick, and kind of show you. All right, so I just bungee strap everything on there. Even the stick goes into the pack. So there's, there it is, just like that. There's the stick with the cleat mod on it. Pretty simple. You just throw that around the tree and it's ready to go. And I usually use that aider on here too. It's a three step aider. I can get about eight, nine feet, sometimes 10 when I stretch out real good. So that's part of it. And inside the pack, I carry the straps to the stand. I'll carry a strap to the stand and I'll carry my range finder, my grunt tube and uh, whatever else, hot hands, snacks, whatever else. This is kind of like my rut pack. It's very, probably weighs like a pound at most. And it just goes right onto the stand and then I modified the stand a little bit. So it's actually got pads on both sides. This is for my knees. This is for my buttocks. And basically, if I'm sitting in the tree and I flip it up and I'm saddle hunting out of it, I use this side of the pad and then I use my gear, my gear hanger to hang up all my stuff on the tree. If I'm sitting at like a tree stand, I've got a sidekick from Lone Wolf Custom Gear. And basically I can flip that out, throw my bow in it and sit. So I have the best of both worlds. I got two strong side shots no matter what. I don't have a weak side shot out of this set. And it, and it tends to give me a little bit more um, comfort on an all day sit. There's more room to stand up and turn around. So I think it's a great option for longer sits, rut. If you've not ever been to a spot and it's not that far in, it's just, it's just a good option. So that's that. Now with this, if I, I've, I've been playing around with both. I like the beef stick, but these are actually made for the stand. These are single step, one with custom gear, 20, 20 inch sticks. And they have the grommets right here and right here grommet holes they actually go right into the holes on the stand I'll show you here right to the holes on the stand and then you can just use a strap and cinch it down and put the pack over top of that it's I mean either way they work great they're lightweight this with the other stick with the two sticks that pack a lot flatter to the stand with a, maybe even a cable aider a regular aider probably get you a little bit higher it is, you may have to deal with an extra pound, but it's, it's pretty nice. All right, so I showed you that. And then with each one of the, these systems here that I use, I run the Method 2 XL saddle. Let me actually hold it up the right way. The Method 2 XL. I run one sys hauler with an F4 ascender. I'll show you my ascender and my uh, strap that I leave in there. And I daisy chain my lineman's belt here so I don't have to run another um, pouch off the side like I got over here. I have a tethered pouch over here. 
I, I use hodgepodge of different stuff. I'm not married to one company, and we're not completely tied to anybody, so I think that helps us with our unbiased reviews. Anyways, I use a quick link. This is an F4 ascender with a black diamond carabiner, and this is 20 foot of FireTech 8 mil rope that goes with it. I can rappel down, or if something happens, I can get down. We'll go over this in a separate review. So that is my system that I've been running here this year. Let me show you my uh, HSS strap real quick. That goes around the tree, pretty simple. Got a couple hangers on there for my bow and whatnot. Easy to put around the tree, throw your pack and your bow on there, whatever whatever else you need, your quiver. And that just lives in my sis hauler with the, um, the lineman's belt slash repelling system. So, and I also, in that repelling system, my pull-up rope is actually a pull-up slash grapple hook that I made out of two carabiners that I zip tied together. You can, zip, you can zoom into that. I use high-vis rope, so I can't lose this rope because when I get to the top of the tree, this is also how I get my tether out of the tree with this little tiny quick link. That's how I get my tether now. We'll see that in another video. But uh, my system for 2023, I've ran it all, and I've been on, I don't know, I'd say close to 40 hunts this year, if not more. So I've put everything through the test. This is my gun season setup. This is my most recent thing that I've ran. I've ran the, which I'll show you this right here. So I ran this system here during gun season with my camera arm bungee to it. And uh, it actually has a, you can pick this up on Amazon. It's just a, a little molly pack that hooks to the back of the molly straps from the Predator for your straps and extra stuff. So I think I think it's a, a cool setup as well. I, I think there's use for everything in the toolbox here, but um, we'll see which one maybe next year I favor more than the other, but I like it all. So that is my 2023 setup. I'll get to the tree and start throwing some stuff up for you. Thanks again. Like and subscribe.